out to Arthur Sea and it's day one of the pilgrimage. Uh, I've always loved Arthur Sea and I've had many magical experiences up here and it's um, on the lines and um, yeah we've got our King Arthur play which we're going to rehearse and perform here today. And we've asked some people from the Edinburgh community to come and watch us, people that we met last time who put us up and looked after us at the end of our pilgrimage uh, just before we went to COP26. So it's going to be really nice to see them again and it's going to be amazing to do it on here on top of that Arthur's seat there and the, the moon, can you see the moon? There's the moon. No, you can't see the moon on the camera. Oh yeah, there she is. The moon is out above Arthur's seat and um, yeah, it's amazing to wake up to this beautiful view and oh, the milky skies. It's gorgeous. It's kind of perfect camping weather where it's not boiling hot but it's really warm and it's really warm last night. Um, Bellinus is obviously happy for us to be giving him some attention, our darling little sun god over there. He's not little, our massive sun god. <laughs> um, yeah. And we gave Ellen a lot of attention last a fortnight ago at Boomtown um, where we were all looking for Ellen <clears throat> on the twin trail which was just a coincidence and then I told everyone um, at this ceremony that I held a hand fasting ceremony between the head and the heart and I said and, and the third way and I said um, that we're on the Ellen line and you've all been looking for Ellen and I told them about the spine of Albion um, yeah it was mental so we did a big Ellen juicy uh, nourishment thing at the start and now we're here with Bellinus at the beginning and we're going to start our Arthur play and yeah it feels very magical to be here and for it all to be beginning um the, every planet at the mo moment is retrograde like M Mercury's retrograde everything's re retrograde and as I was leaving my life behind just it felt like everything was just on fire with everyone miscommunicating with each other and sending each other angry emails and yeah, there was a whole lot of communication breakdown and it felt like soup. And then the second that I stepped into the pilgrimage zone and got on the coaches and just did the travelling to get here, everything just went... Whoa. I could feel the tension ease and just... Yeah, when you're in flow with the universe and following the universe in a more in-tune way, these retrogrades are an op opportunity to do the, something like this, you know, to step back and step out rather than like be pushing against the grindstone. So yeah, it feels really good to be here. And um, so it begins. I just thought I'd share with you what my um, journey is. So we're doing an opening ceremony we're going to do one in a second actually um, but I did mine online with um, a few of the pilgrims before we got here and I pulled my runes for the walk so I have them hidden in my magic hat and um, this top one is Algez and this is the elk but it's also very much the Ellen rune it's the antlers um, very Artemis-y um, we imagine the antlers are really like all these sensitive antlers and so it's being really in tune and really sensitive but real wild abandon is like Kate Bush running up that hill kind of vibe it's like being really free and really wild and being really in tune and really sensitive and so that's what's setting off and I've drawn the antlers there and then the ending rune is um, Uraz and that is the rune of being strong so I'm intending to get really fit and strong and healthy for the wedding next year because I get married in May and um yeah, so it feels like it's about being very in tune and very strong. And then the card I pulled was the death card, which is really exciting. Um, it's scary always a bit, you know, to pull the death card, but it also means just massive transformation, like some huge change and transformation. And, like, I was thinking about it, and everything in my life is as I want it to be. Like, I'm completely in love with the most beautiful being, and we're really happy, and we live in paradise, and I love my work, and I love... Um, my like um, I love my creativity and my creative career and I love um, uh, my community and I love my spiritual journey and um, the one thing that I would like so I've put here in the center of the death card is making money as a form of self care
That's the thing I want to change. Oh, I never said that one. <laughs> king, one king, one king, one king. We all love one king here. considerably thicker than Bellinus and I wonder if that's because you just signed to her well we spent four days shouting Ellen at Boomtown and it's travelled all the way up oh yeah that might <laughs> I mean she's definitely had some big big time attention They don't put barley in it usually. Hey, do. It was oatmeal. I think she, I think somebody told me it was barley. But I don't know. Three out of our nine and a half from the cafe. We've done four point two point four. to have lost everybody. <laughs> That's alright, I'm not in the middle of nowhere or anything. I am in the middle of nowhere. Uh, must be just behind me. Ah well. I'm going to keep going. Oh no, there they are. I can see them. They're just coming over the crest now. Ah. Well, this is the first proper day's walk and we're walking from Trakia Castle to St Mary's Lock and we're going to sleep at the lock tonight and then we'll go to Ettrick tomorrow and we'll perform in Ettrick and it's beautiful I'm really trying to I've been thinking a lot about um, people who've passed on and then I've been going through my lines of 
lot and yeah just Bellinus is obviously very happy that we're giving him our attention and reverence because it's become summer having not had any summer uh, this happened last time as well summer literally started the second that we started walking the pilgrimage so Bellinus obviously likes it when we do this and yeah thinking about Ellen and how much we yeah I just feel like she's in a much better place the wounding feminine in general I think is a much better place obviously there's still a long way to go but she she's rising uh, movement it's been going for a while now um, and yeah it feels like she's finding her power again and yeah I'm enjoying feeling my antlers and yeah, just connecting and tuning in it's really nice to be back in this liminal space and look at the heather look at the heather oh. yeah we've just reached the heather so now we're properly up in the proper country the borderlands it's beautiful yeah and heather it's probably what's making me think of my dear friends that have departed she's very good for grief How wonderful Hecate's Crossroads. Well, not crossroads. What's it called when it's three way road? Three way crossing. Trivia. Trivia? Yeah, or trivia. 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 Hecate trivia. This has been the day that was the day that I remember the most from our pilgrimage last time. Uh, there were lots of magic mushrooms out <laughs> and I ate a lot of them and it took me to a really in-between place, space. So I entered fairyland and it is the most magical day of walking. I feel uh, back there even without the mushrooms and I've been singing to Ellen and singing to the lines. Um, just a whole day of singing and last night when we slept in um, a field by St Mary's Lock there was it was it looked like scrubland but then when we went and camped in it it turned out that it was all herbs so there was meadow sweet and ladies mantle and um, St John's wort and oh, like loads absolutely loads um, Scabious, um, um, mugwort, obviously, always there. Um, we had the maddest dreams, and loads of us dreamt about fathers, our fathers. And then the play that we're doing has obviously got a kind of daddy issue with King, Maud, um, King Arthur and Mordred, and the twin, and reclaiming your twin. And then the thing that's been coming up today is repairing, like how to repair that relationship. When actually it's a projection so that moment when you realize that your parents are humans and are not just these like 
godly figures and it's the same with heroes when you have a hero someone you look up to and then you realize that they're just you know a shitting farting fallible human being like everybody else um and that you have to take back that projection that you've put onto them and that actually that projection's you and that's you gave your twin away and you need to bring your twin back and so the dance or this relationship between king arthur and mordred is that returning of the twin taking that twin back into yourself uh, and your shadow um and owning it so you are the king you are the sovereign it's not just this projection that you put on someone else that that's in you that you're the hero um as well as the enemy and all of the dark things the things that you don't like about other people that's all you as well that's your projection too and that's the repair element of this pilgrimage is how do we repair as in repair our twin um bloody hell look at this Oh my God. I remember this really steep bit that we begin, we began last time coming the other way up this. And um, today we're going down it, which I'm, it's preferable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, gosh, this is literally the most magical place ever. What an honour. What an honour. I'm sad it's coming to an end. This is the last bit. So I'm going to take a moment to just sit here and enjoy it before saying goodbye to this beautiful land. And dipping down into Ettrick. Devastation. Absolute devastation and the smell of chopped wood like blood. Bleak and barren. Bleak. The land will remain bleak and barren unless your enemy, you do Laren. <laughs> unless <laughs> your enemy be Let called Karen. <laughs> Barren and bleak. Bleak. Unless your, your enemy is not, not allowed, allowed to speak. speak. Oh, there you go. That's Karen. all right, everyone. Not about Karen and Karen. Karen! <laughs> Karen! And I'm sure they could make a more efficient method, but this is just... Strips them down. Only half, though. Do they turn them around and do it the other way? Oh. They did it all. Oh, he's chopped it as well. Oh, yeah, they just get rid of that bit. So they just do half and then make it into logs. Yeah, it's very dinosaur y. Um, they've got one wheel. Um, yeah. <laughs> you have to take it off. Hello. 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 <laughs> Famous Lee. Thank Celebrity you. Lee. <laughs> Monsieur <laughs> Valley. <laughs> We're heading down south, which runs parallel to that lovely place you bought yesterday. <laughs> Southwest facing. <laughs> Yay, mummers! Oh, 
It's two minutes, the, your, the other temple. If you want to we go don't have now, <laughs> because you don't have to take the bus. Okay, so after I move on, that's the thing as well. So. I'm going at the church to uh, give a hand, you know. Oh, to help them. Okay. After I'm going to see uh, the French man. I had a chat with him yesterday. Little <laughs> guy. Oh. <laughs> So we've come to the end of the first week and we are a day away from crossing over into Scotland, uh, England. So we could have left Scotland today in theory, but we didn't want to because we like it here. So we're doing another day. We're going back along the route we went last time, which actually was the wrong... Well, it wasn't the wrong way. There was a bridge that was blocked. But we want to go back because there was a lovely couple we met who invited us in for a cup of tea. They might not still be there because they were talking about selling their house, but we hope they might be. And we're going to go that way just in case. And, yeah, we had a lovely evening last night. We went to a barbecue. We performed twice in Eskadale. And, um, yeah, we performed twice at Eskadale once in the daytime at the community hub and then we went to um, a barbecue in the evening that we were invited to that was in an old church that had been um, renovated and there was a, a barbecue and we performed and it was nice, it was dark, there was lots of fairy lights and it was very pretty and the dragon looked amazing in the dark. Uh, I like doing our performances like around firesides, it does add to, it gives it another dimension. And then this morning we got up at 6.30 and packed up and went and we stayed at a lovely, lovely couple's house in their garden with a river, um, the River Esk running down the bottom and we were right by the river and it was beautiful. They looked after us which was really nice and yeah then we went to Sami Ling temple, a Buddhist temple this morning and meditated for an hour which was glorious. Yeah, I had an interesting time actually while I was meditating because the card that I pulled for this walk is death and that's like a big transformation but like life-changing transformation and I did a reading um, in spider land asking just a bit of clarity on it and just sort of like tell me a bit more about that and I pulled the death card then the chariot and then um, the fool and Helen's card is the chariot and she pulls it every time <laughs> she's pulled it three times now and um it's an interesting card because it's yeah it's about enjoying the ride and uh my drama teacher a drama school said before she called me in for a meeting she'd had a dream about the chariot card with relation to me and it was about enjoying the ride and not feeling like I need to get to a destination, which obviously is very relevant to pilgrimaging. It, it's not about the end destination on any given day. It's about enjoying the ride and enjoying the journey. Um, but also something, because um, because it, the card represents Helen so much, something Helen said at the beginning of the walk was about not being all showy-offy about what we've done and where we've come from and how many times we've walked and you know we're the first people to walk the spine of Albion and now we're the second people to walk the spine of Albion and all that kind of stuff and like 
you know, all the things we've done. Because there's a lot now. There's a lot of history with what we've done. But to just be present with each person and be more interested in them rather than thinking we're the most interesting people in the room the whole time. Um, how do we not bring all that, like just be more present and be more in the moment and not be showy offy. And I think that's really interesting and I think that is more of an access to the full is that giving up the ego and uh, yeah, I think that would be a big death transformation for me because I am a very storytellery, egoy, you know, oh, I've done this, I've done that kind of person. So I feel like that's probably the transformation or the learning that I'm getting that came through in the meditation today. I wasn't, you know, I was trying not to think, but that's what was there right at the moment when the gong went off. You know, it's almost like when you wake from a dream and you're like, oh, that's what I was just thinking about. And it seemed really relevant that the gong happened exactly at that point when I was thinking that. Well, that just sort of had come into me. Ah, oh, I recognise where we are for the first time. Yes, it is down there. We're on route, so yeah, brilliant. We're going to hopefully see this couple. And yeah, this is the last day, Saturday. So this is the end of this week's video. And it's definitely up there. Yeah, 100%. Yay! <laughs>